Did you know that every minute, the equivalent of a garbage truck full of plastic is dumped into our world's rivers? Shocking, isn't it? Our planet's rivers, the veins of our Earth, are under a relentless assault of pollution. From plastic debris to industrial waste, these life-giving waterways are being choked, suffocated, and sullied at an alarming rate. Across the globe, rivers meander through sprawling cities and untouched wilderness alike providing a crucial supply of water for agriculture, industry, and everyday human life. But an insidious tide of pollution is threatening their health and ours. The fallout is immense, impacting ecosystems, wildlife, and human communities that rely on these rivers. The scale of this problem is staggering, but it's not just faceless statistics. Behind every polluted river is a story of negligence, of overconsumption, and of environmental disregard. Now, Let's dive into the top 10 most polluted rivers in the world, starting from number 10. At number 10, we have the Mississippi River, flowing majestically through the United States. This grand river, sometimes referred to as Old Man River, stretches from Minnesota to the Gulf of Mexico. It's not just a vital transportation artery, but also a significant ecosystem for many species. However, don't let the river's serene appearance fool you. The Mississippi is an industrial dumping ground. Industries along its course, like agriculture, manufacturing, and mining, have been pumping pollutants into its waters for decades. From pesticides to heavy metals, the river collects them all, making it a cocktail of contaminants. Today, the health status of the Mississippi River is concerning. Its waters are teeming with pollutants, affecting the aquatic life and the millions of people who rely on it. The river's once vibrant ecosystem is now under threat, struggling to maintain its biodiversity. Despite its beauty, the Mississippi carries a heavy burden of pollutants. Next up, we cross over to the Tijuana River, a cross-border polluter that affects both Mexico and the United States. Situated between these two nations, the Tijuana River paints a grim picture of cross-boundary pollution. The river begins its journey in the Sierra de Juarez Mountains of Mexico, flowing northwards into the United States. Along its route, it carries untreated sewage, trash, and toxic chemicals from illegal dumping and industrial facilities. The consequences? A river gasping for breath, its waters a cocktail of pollutants. The current health status of the Tijuana River is alarming, to say the least. Its once thriving ecosystem is now under severe threat, with species struggling to survive in the contaminated water. The impact extends to the human population, too, with local communities suffering from health issues due to unsafe water. It's a stark reminder of how human actions can transcend borders, impacting ecosystems and communities far beyond our immediate vicinity. A river that unites two nations also shares its pollution. At number eight, we have the Maralao River in the Philippines, a river choked by plastic. Located in the province of Bulacan, this river is a lifeline for many locals providing water for agriculture and daily use. However, the Maralao River is under siege, not from an enemy army, but from an invasion of plastic waste. The river's condition is a direct result of unregulated waste disposal and lack of waste management infrastructure. It's estimated that millions of plastic bags, bottles, and other debris are dumped into the river each year, turning its waters into a plastic soup. The health status of the Maralao River is critical. The high levels of plastic pollution have led to a significant decrease in aquatic life and the water quality has deteriorated to a point where it's no longer safe for human use. It's a river in crisis, a mirror reflecting our plastic problem. Halfway through our list, we find the Sarno River in Italy, known as Europe's most polluted river. The Sarno, with its roots in the Apennine Mountains, winds its way all the way to the Bay of Naples, passing through some of Italy's most picturesque landscapes. However, this scenic beauty hides a grim reality. The river is a cocktail of industrial waste, agricultural runoff, and untreated sewage. Industries along its banks, particularly the leather and textile sectors, have been using the river as a convenient dumping ground for years. The excessive use of pesticides and fertilizers in the surrounding farmlands also contributes to the river's dire state. As for its health status, the Sarno River is in critical condition. Its waters are so toxic they pose a significant risk to both aquatic life and human health. 
The river's ecosystem is hanging on by a thread, with many species already extinct or on the brink of extinction. The Sarno River, a reminder that pollution is not just a problem in developing countries. At number six, we have Brazil's Doche River, a victim of one of the worst environmental disasters. Snaking its way through the southeastern part of Brazil, the Doche River once teemed with life, but a catastrophic event in 2015 turned it into a toxic nightmare. A dam burst spewing millions of tons of iron ore waste into the river, smothering aquatic life and contaminating drinking water for hundreds of thousands of people. Today, the river's health status remains precarious. There's been some recovery, but the damage done is extensive and long-lasting. Experts warn that full recovery could take decades, if not centuries. A once vibrant ecosystem now struggles to regain its balance, and the river's future hangs in the balance. The Doche River serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of industrial accidents, the high price we pay for progress, and the urgent need for stringent safety measures in industries worldwide. Moving on to the Mantaza Riachuelo River in Argentina, an urban polluter affecting millions. Stretching over 40 miles, this river threads through the heart of Buenos Aires, the country's bustling capital. But behind the city's vibrant rhythm, the Mantaza Riachuelo River tells a darker tale. Once a lifeline for the city, it's now a victim of relentless urbanization. The river is choked with sewage, industrial waste and garbage, transforming it into a toxic cocktail. The reasons? Unchecked industrialization, lack of waste management, and urban growth without sustainable planning. The river's health status is alarming. It's not just about the murky waters, it's about the health risks to the millions living along its banks. Airborne diseases from the river's pollutants and the risk of waterborne illnesses have made it a public health concern. This river tells a story of urban pollution on a massive scale. The Mantaza Riachuelo River, a stark reminder of the price we pay for progress without foresight. Next, we travel to Bangladesh and the Buringanga River, a lifeline for many but a dying one. This river, that once thrived with life, is now gasping for breath, struggling under the weight of pollution. Nestled in the heart of Dhaka, the capital city, the Buringanga River serves as a crucial waterway for trade and transport. The river's current state of health is distressing. The water has turned from a vibrant blue to a sickly blackish hue due to untreated industrial waste and sewage. The once flourishing aquatic life is now virtually non-existent, and the people who depend on this river for their livelihood are suffering. The contamination primarily stems from the unchecked dumping of waste from Dhaka's burgeoning industries and residential areas. Despite many governmental and non-governmental initiatives, the river pollution persists and the river's health continues to deteriorate. The Buringanga River, a lifeline in need of a lifeline. The ramifications are far-reaching, impacting not just the environment, but also the people who depend on it. At number two, we have the Yellow River in China, often referred to as China's Sorrow. Stretching across nine provinces, this river is the cradle of Chinese civilization, yet today it suffers from severe pollution. Industrial waste, agricultural runoff, and untreated sewage have turned this once pristine waterway into a toxic soup. The river's health is in a critical state. Over 60% of the water is deemed unfit for human contact, let alone for drinking or agricultural use. Fish species have dwindled, and the river's biodiversity is at risk. The pollution is so severe that the river often changes its color to a disturbing shade of yellow, hence its name. The reasons for its pollution are numerous, but it primarily boils down to rapid industrialization without sufficient waste management systems. The river has become a convenient disposal site for factories and households alike. A sorrow indeed, as the river's health continues to decline. And finally, at number one, we have the Ganges River in India, a sacred river treated like a sewer. Stretching over 1,500 miles, the Ganges River is more than just a body of water for the millions of people living along its banks. It's a holy site, a source of sustenance, and unfortunately, a receptacle of pollution. The Ganges is polluted by a cocktail of industrial waste, sewage, and religious offerings that turn the river into a toxic soup. It's a paradox of reverence and irreverence, of worship and abuse. Despite its spiritual significance, the river is in dire straits. 
It's among the top five most polluted rivers globally, with an alarmingly high level of coliform bacteria, a common indicator of water quality. Efforts are underway to clean up the Ganges, but the task is gargantuan. The river that's a lifeline for millions is gasping for breath under the weight of pollution. The Ganges, a sacred river yearning for salvation from pollution. So there you have it, the top 10 most polluted rivers in the world. From the industrial dump of the Mississippi, the cross-border polluter Tijuana, the plastic-choked Marilao, Europe's dirtiest, the Sarno, to the toxic Doce, the urban polluter Mantaza Riachuelo, the dying lifeline Buringanga, China's sorrow, the Yellow River, and finally, the sacred sewer, the Ganges. Each of these rivers tells a story of human negligence, lack of environmental awareness, and the dire need for change. The effects of pollution are far-reaching, impacting not just the health of our rivers, but the life they sustain, including us. So what can you do? Small changes can make a big difference. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Support local cleanup efforts. Advocate for stricter pollution laws. Every action, no matter how small, contributes to a larger movement to preserve our rivers. Remember, every bit of effort counts in preserving our precious rivers. It's time to turn the tide on pollution.